coming in TCS. We're here again. We have five new Rise of the Floodborne cards. Let's get right into it. I have this one. This is the first one we're going to look at. Beast Relentless, a six inkable, four strength, five willpower, with two lore generation. Pretty okay stats. Uh, Emerald already has some pretty good fives. You know, Mad Hatter, the Cusco. What else is it? Um, is that it doesn't compete with Space Prior? Let's see. Second Wind. Whenever the opposing character is damaged, you may ready this character. Uh, very neat. Very neat. I like these cards where you can ready the character after some prerequisite happens. And readying your character after some other character is damaged isn't that hard to make happen. Do the effect by himself, meaning he can swing, then he readies himself after he's uh, challenged the character. It's the top end, right? You want to finish the game earlier. You're not really swinging with Emerald. See, your Flynn Rider, your Cheshire Cats. These guys are defensive characters. You don't necessarily want, and you're not dealing any damage with Cheshire Cat. Is he a good card? Certainly. Does he fit in the archetype? No, I don't believe so. And I, I think uh, in the, the days of it doesn't fit, it's pretty awkward, but you're making it work is pretty sweet what Ravensburger is doing with this game. Because this is very unique, right? This is a good card that goes in most color, most inks except emerald if you're running emerald steel for instance and you fire the cannons readying your beast after firing your cannons it's an extra two lore so you're paying one ink to get two lore extra which is really okay i mean you play the lilos and you play the maleficence already beast hard headed just seems a little bit better in that regard you're paying one less ink for another inkable with one less willpower, you still get the same two lore. I'd likely get surprised, but I I believe Beast Relentless is going to have too high of a price point on cast. Next, we have Fang Crossbow, an item in Sapphire, which is a three inkable. Careful aim. Exert, pay two ink. Chosen character gets negative two strength this turn. Or stay back. Exert, banish this item. Banish chosen dragon character. Maleficent is the only dragon, I believe, in Lorcana right now. Does she see a lot of play? Um, apparently so, because she's getting some tools to remove her. So keeping your guys around really nice it's pseudo removal how much ink am i paying for the effect once and if i'm normally paying like if i put it on a card that i could use over and over again bank crossbow seems fairly balanced and that's not to say it's good or bad or ugly if you're not removing your character cards already in sapphire without the challenger or with the challenger, these, this Fang crossbow is not going to be used. I worry that Sapphire is falling further and further behind because Dagnabbit crossbow is it's very two-way expensive to catch up with some of the other decks. Two ink, last stand, an amber action says banished chosen character who was challenged this turn. That's very sweet. Um, wow, what a removal spell, man. You're paying one at most for a Lilo. Um, what else is a one cost? For Olaf, you know, Amethyst. I'm very optimistic about Last Stand. It's um, quite good against these characters that are very big. They are also very good for cards that have a high health point and high lore count, like Moana. A huge tempo swing for you. You paid 3 ink for their 5 ink to get um, 3 lore. 
I, I'm very, very happy with Last Stand. I think Last Stand is going to make Amber even better than it already is, which is, like, second best. Number four, we have Cinderella. Knight in Training. Two Inkable, two Strength, two Willpower, one Lower Count. Very good card uh, stat line. With an effect, it says, have courage. When you play this character, you may draw a card, then choose and discard a card. Same as the Tiny Tactician or the Simba. She's the same as Simba, but she costs one more and has one more strength. The Cinderella Stouthearted with the Shift 5. Resist 2 and... Wow, that's a card, man. That makes sense. That Cinderella is not so good. Or not as good. But you're paying two now for five later. You're paying the full seven. If you were three, then there would still be a pretty okay set of cards. Like two cards. I think Cinderella Knight in Training and Cinderella Stouthearted Knight is really fantastic. Really good. Uh, both of them. You're, you're going to want four Cinderella Knights in Training, four Cinderella Stouthearted, and... Most every steel deck, I think. Both of these guys are inkable gals, and I'm quite looking forward to playing Cinderella's. The last card, number five, we have today is Merlin Rabbit. He is a four ink cost two three with one lore count. Eh, not very good stat line. Let's see his ability. Hoppity hip. When you play this character and when he leaves play, you may draw a card. Wow, Merlin, Rabbit, 2-3 that says draw two cards. This is better than the mirror. This is, you're, you're wanting to draw two cards off a of mirror. And mirror, you're already, I, I mean, at least, right? Probably pretty good. Um, you have to think of the other card draw that you have in Amethyst already. Friends on the other side. As I mentioned before, the mirror, Maleficent. It was turning out to be a bad hair day. Pfft. A rabbit. I didn't remember this. I remember him becoming a fish. Uh, and the Menegas. And the Menegas. I, I, I don't remember what it said, seriously. That sums it up. Five cards today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please let me know what you think of these in the comments. Under where the comments are. I'm going to link where I find these new cards in the a place where we put the links make sure you subscribe if you haven't already remember the comment for reasons unannounced to me i've been tcs you have a good rest of your day